Sagittarius, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. I'm Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Sag, trust. I have been meditating on it and that's the word that came to me. Trust. All right. The Sagittarius need to know about trust. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to our website if you want to book a private reading. I only book private readings via my website. You have to come to me. You will not get a reading with me any other way. I won't be messaging you. I won't be doing anything like that. You have to come to me. That's the only legit way. Any other way you get a reading from me, it isn't me. It's somebody fooling you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right, Sagittarius, trust. Why is trust coming up? Ooh, I see. I see. So, you've caught your significant other. you uh managed to catch their um what they've been checking out on the internet oh sorry i don't want to i've got my phone plugged in and i nearly kicked the wire around that wouldn't work would it you've been uh, checking out their uh search history totally by accident of course i got you there maybe just happened by their email account. I don't know. Had a little look there. It's not like you, I know. This is what you're saying. I feel it. It's not like me. It was an accident. Didn't mean. Oh, Jesus, what have I seen? Now I'm really angry. <sighs> this person was my person. And I've seen things that I. I can't unsee. Get the Sagittarius here. Love, love will tear us apart. That just came into my head. Heart to heart conversations and unrequited love, but in reverse. Okay, so you've kind of. You've had your conversation about this now. This very much reminds me of what happened to me. Tell me if this resonates with you. So two weeks before I got married, I was in my living room, putting my shoes on, on the sofa and my laptop, my laptop was next to me on the sofa and it was open and I nudged it by accident and back then in fact it's around here somewhere it's my old one when you sort of it, it came on the screen came on and it was on Facebook and it was a girl's account who I knew that my fella at the time knew and uh he'd been looking at her jeez i can't remember who it was the blank sort of memory of who it was and uh i remember that she was married to a friend of his it was really random that he was looking at her but it was on my laptop and i said what's this And he came over and he looked and he's like, oh, sh oh God. And I was like, well, that's a bit of an overreaction, isn't it? And he's like, oh, yeah, I, uh, I thought I'd turn that off. And I was like, still overreacting? What's going on? He's like, I'm sorry, I was just looking at her. I was like, okay, any, any reason why? He's like, well, you know, before you and I met, 
I was on holiday with them and, and uh, yeah, we had a moment. So I was just, you know, thinking about her. And I was like, oh my God, that's terrible. We're getting married in two weeks. That's, that's not good. He's like, it's something that guys do, Jen. Just get over it. Guys look at pictures of girls. I'm like, yeah, I know. He's like, I look at pictures of your friends all the time. I'm like, oh my God, what? He's like, yeah, it's something that guys do. My friend, I can't even remember who his friend was. A friend of mine told me that, that guys look at pictures of the wife's friends all the time and it's normal and, 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 and I was like, okay, what are you saying? And he's like, well, you know, lots of your friends are really pretty and I've been looking at pictures of them and I'm like, what do you mean looking at them? And he's like, well, you know, what guys do? I was like, yeah, I don't, no, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Not when you're about to marry someone. It doesn't sort of seem legit to me. And, uh, yeah, I found out that he'd been, you know, entertaining himself to pictures of my friends and this other woman on my computer. I was just like, oh God, this is, this is terrible. We ended up getting married anyway. And no, it didn't last. He was, he was unfaithful, but uh, I never really forgave him for it. And it sort of feels like a similar situation. You didn't mean to find it. I don't think you were looking for it. I wasn't. And anyway, it was my computer. And uh, it feels like you weren't looking for it. And something came up, you saw it, and it made you uncomfortable. It was like, I feel a similar situation where you're in a serious commitment with this person and they're, and they're looking at something that's like, well, yeah, all right, guys look at porn, but that's not porn. That's just a regular picture on someone's Facebook. But they're in a bikini, yeah. On their Facebook. Where all the mates can see and their mom and dad and But I feel like it's a little bit more with you here. There's messages now. There's messages. You've seen something. You've looked now. You've you, now that you saw it, you've dug deep and you've seen things. You've seen messages. You've seen things that make you uncomfortable. Can you trust this person? Hey baby, you, you can trust me. I'm fine. I'm so trustworthy. Look at that not trustworthy face. Pretty punchable looking face if you ask me. No, 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 no. Scattered energy. There's this big scattered energy right now. They don't know what they want. So if you're getting into a serious commitment with this person, they're actually having second thoughts ah is this really what i want do i want to settle down is it, uh this is why they're doing what they're doing this is why they're looking this is why they're messaging they're uh looking for some sort of escape uh, but they're too cowardly to end it because they don't really want to end it either Because they love you. Because because they're happy, but they're not happy. They're they're freaking out. Can you trust this person? So we just get to it. Can you trust this person? I'm gonna be honest here. Let's get straight to the outcome. I don't want to mess you around. We're only nine minutes in. I could stretch this out for 20 minutes and be a, like one of those butthole readers who keeps you holding on for like an hour. No, I'm not going to do that. Can you trust this person? Do you want to go straight to the outcome? It's the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. That to me is the end of a relationship. I'm not going to mess you around. I'm not going to draw it out. Nine minutes in, nearly 10 minutes. This is going to end. But it's supposed to. 
them with this card this is in their position i don't feel like i've done anything wrong is what they're saying and that's kind of what my ex thought what have i done wrong it's normal everyone does it that's just the thing i personally don't think that kind of behavior is if you're getting into a serious relationship with somebody it's disrespectful that's just my opinion if you're gonna do that don't be looking at you know don't be crapping on your own doorstep looking at people you know No, I, I, I don't see them as, as sort of feeling like they've done anything wrong. So let's go straight to the outcome. I just, I just want to read it. Let's take a look at the outcome. Why is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse here? You're not the one, is what I just heard. You're not the one. This is, this is over, okay? Got the Eight of Cups walking away. Got the Five of Cups looking at what you lost there instead of what you got. Looking at what you don't have instead of what you do have. Okay? It's. I, I feel like that's why people cheat. That's why people message people online because they're not happy with what they got. They want more. And that's what's going on here. I'm not going to draw it out. I don't see the point in in uh, drawing out your pain. I, I don't know. I don't see the point. I'm going to take it into extended, but let's let's pull it. Uh, I want, I'm going to take it to extended where I'm going to ask how this person feels about you. Where are you in their heart space? What are their intentions towards you? What they want to say to you is some guidance from the universe, but... Honestly, this is done. I don't want to draw it out for you. You know what? It's all for the best for you. A win-win outcome is forecast. This is just the way it's supposed to be. You're, you're not meant to be with this person. Your song of the day, Arctic Monkeys, do I want to know? Do I want to know if this feeling flows both ways? I don't know. I think that they are very fond of you, but I think they're not ready for a deep commitment and they're looking for a get out. Sorry, it's been a short reading. I just don't see the point of drawing out your pain. I actually don't. I, I want you to move on, my loves. So if you want to watch Extended, I'd say just move on, personally. But if you want to know how this person feels about you and things like that, then uh, take a look at the description box below. There's links to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you guys later.